Hey everyone, so recently I had a haul on buying those findings for making clay charms and also jewelries. So I would like to show you what I bought um, in order to show you guys and also share with you guys and so you guys can also know what kind of findings you will need for like um, making clay charms if you are new in that. So yep and um, I will probably be uploading more videos like probably and um, they are mostly about like clay tutorials maybe but like I decided to do some videos on like basic skills on polymer clay or other clay so it's there will be some more videos about um, clay for beginners and they will be divided into different sections to like um, to let you guys learn so I hope they help and they will be up soon so just stay tuned alright so back to the haul the first thing I bought is not really findings but they're related so yep and I bought this 15 squares um, storage box and yep so we like this it's really tiny actually and as you can see um like compared to my finger i mean my thumb um it not it isn't really big like the squares so i bought it um is like the reason i bought it is because i would like to store my new board findings in it in order to be more organized so yep so this is the first thing i bought the second thing i bought um is this whole bunch of wire is this the width and also the thickness of the wire and also the length so like the wire like this if it focuses so um i really want to buy some thin wires uh, because i need them for my crafts but like this bunch of wire isn't really in very good quality um so i didn't really want to buy it however i can't really uh, like find any um uh, everywhere because like in other places it is really really thick so it is not suitable for me so in hong kong it's really difficult to find crab supplies so so i decided to buy it and i think i can still use it as you can see it can really bend really well so yeah it will like jump back or yeah whatever so yeah this is our second thing and next i bought this chain and uh, oh, by the way, these findings is quite cheap, so yeah, and I believe this is a bracelet because they like help me to like package everything really well, so I'm not sure which one is which one, so yeah, let me open it, so oops, oh, they are bracelet and oops, some of them break out and it doesn't matter because like it's really really cheap so so there's one of them two of them three of them four of them and five of them so there are five and they're actually just really tiny little chain and um, these are for like extending my bracelet because like I don't really want to buy a whole like long chain to cut it off and just extend my bracelet or you can like attach them to clay charms which you want to extend something out so just like a um, big piece of clay like a cake and you just attach it to both sides with one piece out so they are quite useful and um, I think these two pieces aren't break out because they are like equal length for something i think these two are like extra and brick extra so i'll just throw it away but anyway so these are the findings and let me put it back sorry i just don't want real i don't really want to be really messy so yep and next thing i bought is this tag and um this a uh, leather necklace obviously is not leather but it looks like leather so I bought a lot of it and 
like I, I'm not sure how many I bought but anyway so it looks like this and it's not really long but you know suitable length so yep and it like this so, yeah and it was this little clasped so it's open up like this I know you guys know because you guys wear a necklace too and there is some adjustable like length chain here so you can also use this chain to extend this if you feel like it's not long enough so I mean enough so yep so this is the necklace I bought and I bought a bunch of it so yep I just stuck it back in So this is the necklace I bought. And next I bought those really small findings. And I bought this silver jump rings. So yep. And I oh by the way, if you don't know what these are, they are like used to attach your charms or your like your charms or like findings, other findings to your saddle strap or other stuff so you can just open it with two like tools and you can use it so you can also see how I use them in my tutorials if I show you them I'm not sure but yep and the next thing I bought is this one and as you can see it's a different color a different silver so yeah this one is darker but I like this one better so yeah, I just want to try this different stuff and I think this is our long chain, the long chain that I bought. Oops, it didn't really open. Yeah, this long chain. So, there's no opening, I think. So, yeah, there's no opening. And it's like this. And individually, they aren't really dark, but like, I still like their color of the jump ring more so there are three of them so this the chain which you can use for necklaces or bracelets so yeah just like findings you can use findings anywhere so it, it doesn't restrict you to use it anywhere so yeah and I also bought this one I bought a lot of chain because I want to try different chain for like different stuff so I'm sorry if that makes you bored. Oh, by the way, this one is my favorite, like, color ever, like, of findings. And this is our necklace, and I really like it's clasped, like, it's opening. And I like this, and, um, uh, so it's open up when you, like, press it and just slide it over. So, yeah, just like that, and just slide it back. If you want to wear it, sorry, it's really hard <laughs> because I can't really see. So yeah, I really like this one, and oh, I'm not going to waste time putting it back. Um, I also bought the whole pack of this eye pins, and most of you know that eye pins are for like you stuck them in your charms and it can hang everywhere. So yep. So these are long ones, so I can make longer charms or larger charms with them. And I also bought this shorter one, which is gold, so I can match with my bracelet. And then I also bought, let's see, I also bought this chain, and I'm not sure what it is because I forgot. Uh, so, oops. I think this is also a necklace and it's just a different like opening and there's only oh yeah there's only a jump ring attaching so here is how you use jump ring everyone so yeah there's another necklace which is really thin so yep these are suitable for like jewelries and also really small and tiny charms because it doesn't match if you hang a really large charm on it. So yeah. And next I also bought some more jump rings which is gold in order to match. And also some earring hooks and you just attach your charm to turn it into earrings. And I also bought eye pins and I bought gold and silver. You can like 
we attach it to your charms and you can just like make the hook yourself to turn it into an eye pin and that will really like stuck in your charm so it won't fall off so they're really useful and they're useful for painting faces too oops <laughs> and next I bought this whole bunch of stuff and like I mean whole bunch of clefts and is another types of opening for necklaces and also bracelet and this is actually my favorite clefts ever and I'll take one out to show you and this clasp is not really like you can see it a lot but like oops it won't focus if I put it so I like this just like a peanut and I always call it peanut like peanut clasp and you like this you just open up by turning it like at a front and also at backwards so just to keep turning and it will open up just like a peanut and you just close it up by like turn it so yep so it's real safe and really easy to like wear and also take it off so yep this is really cool i will use loads of it for my necklaces and like bracelet yep all right so last but not least i also bought these magnets and i can use them for charms and also in my scrapbook artwork so yeah so this is the magnet i bought and it's really strong sorry and yeah so these are the findings for oh i missed something and i also bought this two tools and they're not in really good quality but it's still okay and this is for cutting wires so it's really sharp so be careful if you are using it and yeah you just cut wires by all right i'll try once to you guys and i'll just cut this piece and yeah it will just cut off so yeah and for this one this one is like as you can see it's round shaped like circle circular so yeah there's it's not sharp at all however um you'll use them for like trolling your like wires to turn it into circular like this i'm not sure if you can see like these so you can turn it into this little loop so yep and just like what i said for the happens and i'm not sure if i can demonstrate in here because i can't really see because of their camera blocking my sight but anyway so just something like this this wire isn't really good so it's real hard it will just jump back <laughs> Anyway, so just something like that. So as you can see, it you can twirl into a circular thing. So yeah, this just jump back. I hate it. Anyway, so this is um, all the stuff I bought for my findings. So yep, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Although it's a bit boring, but I hope you guys can learn something and more videos will be coming soon so just stay tuned and thanks so much for watching please subscribe and bye